why should you use handouts at your presentations and how can you use them to supplement your PowerPoint slides? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. When you're preparing your presentation, remember that there are different types of personalities in your audience. Most people are visual, that's true. Some are auditory, that's how I process information. Others are kinesthetic. If you want to create the total experience for your audience, you as the presenter are the visual part, so will your PowerPoint slides. You speaking is obviously the auditory part, also you may have some videos included, or music. But the third part, kinesthetic, is one where the handouts come in handy. Here's an example of a handout that I like to use in my presentations. Notice that it is not copies of my PowerPoint slides. It also isn't filled with verbiage. I have found this to be the best kind of handout for my presentations because it allows the audience to translate what I'm saying, put it in their own words so they can write it down. The act of writing is kinesthetic. The act of processing what I'm saying is somewhat kinesthetic also. I think it's arrogant for us as presenters to put down all of the information on a piece of paper as if that's how our audience should interpret it. Now, my job is to give my experience of my topic and allow them to translate it, write it into words that will be useful to them. One of the most important lessons I learned early on is that audiences buy into what they help create. If the audience member is taking good notes, is engaged in the conversation or the presentation you're giving, they're more likely to use that information down the road. Here's a caveat to this. In a technical presentation, you may need to give your audience a lot of supporting material. Maybe they'll need some kind of graph or detailed information to understand how you got to your conclusion. Well, here's how you handle that. Hand out that information after your presentation. Why after? I'm sure you've guessed why. If you hand it out during your talk, what will the audience do? Obviously, they're going to read it. It's just like having a PowerPoint presentation in their hands. <laughs> you don't want them distracted. There will be people in your audience who need that information. That's just how they process the world. Don't give it while you're speaking, give it after. That way they'll be satisfied. They can go peruse all that information as much as they want when it's over. The big picture people in the audience will be happy because you didn't inundate them with facts, figures, and data. That's a couple of tips on how to use handouts. I think they are important, especially for the kinesthetic types in your audience. It allows them to take the information that you're giving them, translate it into their own words, and write it down. That gets them involved. And you can also help the technical or detailed people in the audience by handing out useful information after you talk.